parce que culturellement, Gisèle Halimi, an icon of the movement for women's rights, died in Paris this Tuesday. The Tunisian French lawyer and militant made it her life mission to fight against injustice and the patriarchy. In France, she is well known for having campaigned for the decriminalization of abortion and homosexuality, the end of the death penalty, and the recognition of rape as a crime under French law. But her life as an activist began in northern Africa in the 1940s when she became a lawyer at the Tunis Bar and campaigned for her country's independence. She also fought for the independence of neighboring Algeria. In 1960, she rushed to defend Jamila Boupacha, a young independence fighter who was accused by French authorities of planting a bomb at a cafe in Algiers. After her arrest, she was tortured and raped by French paratroopers. Gisèle Halimi was Boupacha's lawyer during her trial. The young Algerian was initially sentenced to death before receiving amnesty after the country gained independence. Two years later, Alimi, famous author Simone de Beauvoir and others wrote a book that compiled various accounts of the case. Alimi's fight against injustice didn't end there. She also had ties with the nationalist movement in Morocco, supported the Palestinian cause and announced American war crimes in Vietnam. For her entire life, she was known as someone who never shied away from difficult battles. Gisèle Alimi was 93 years old.